Yeah, it was, it was a good performance overall. Uh, to win any game of football, you, as a manager or a coach, you're always happy with that. Um, it was a difficult game. We were, we were very young against some experienced players. Um, certainly for the first hour or so, we were quite tense in terms of our, our passing, quite sloppy at times, on a difficult pitch to, to what we're used to. Um, but to come away with a, a 3-1 win and some of the, the, the age of the personnel on the pitch at the end was, was fantastic. What was said to the players at half time in terms of the, the first half performance going into the second? Uh, they had some threats. Obviously, they had a, a, a centre forward who won a lot of headers against a young back four. We, we've just got to try and figure out the opposition a bit better than that. Um, we've got to be effective in terms of what we're up against. Um, and like I say, figure out their, their dangers and then just play a little bit with a bit more freedom. We, we played a little bit in terms of attacked in a 4 4 2 and defended in a 4 4 2, which is not a problem, but when you're attacking, people have got to move off lines and can't play in straight lines. Um, and we improved as the game went on and physically we probably got stronger as the game went on which we should do as a full-time team um, but it's, it's the most important thing is, is minutes in the, under the belt That must be pleasing as well physically stronger because obviously it ended the, the second half really well two, two late goals and I, I, I suppose that's what pre-season is about just making sure that it is, is, right. it is definitely but we also made a lot of changes as well and look, some of the ages of the boys at the end were really young you know we got first second year pros and um, YTs in there who were up against physical players and experienced players so look they, they our under 18s went and, and drew at Everton on Saturday a really good 0-0 draw at Everton but our young players will learn more from, from that 20 minutes or half an hour against against men than they would have on Saturday. So I'm delighted that they've come through it fit and come through it unscathed. Um, and we take that into into Thursday's game now. Uh, ben Seymour scored quite a few goals here on loan last season and yeah. took his penalty well, didn't he? Yeah, he's a goal scorer. He is a goal scorer. And he'll probably be disappointed he didn't take one of his other chances tonight. Um, but he's working hard. Um, he's a runner. He's running behind all day long and he'll work the back four. And he's always scored goals. Throughout the youth team and his, his long move last season, he's a goal scorer and he's got a big future at this club. Uh, just a word on Felix Norman as well, because he played uh, 60 minutes for Biddeford, then yeah. swapped over to, yeah. uh, and he's made made quite a few saves during that. Yeah, he, he was excellent for both teams, he really was. Um, and that's testament to the work he's been doing with Chris Wheel, our new goalkeeping coach. Um, but Felix had a good game tonight, um, as did a, a few other players as well. So, look, like I say, the experience they're gaining is absolutely priceless um, and if we can keep developing along with the first team um, then we're going to have a good group coming through. Um, on to Truro now on, on Thursday and it'll be more of the uh, experienced players coming in. Um, will any of these lads get a run out? Yeah, definitely. Well? The likes of Archie, Jack Sparks and potentially Ben as well um, and obviously James Hammond. Um, everyone, all the pros will now play 45 minutes. Um, so it'll be half a game for them and then the following week they'll be looking to play 60 minutes and then 30 minutes and then 30 and 60 so the game's come thick and fast we're going to keep working in training and um, we've had a really positive 10 days so far um, and the results just back that work up they really do I mean this, this group I've not worked with them too much this season because it's such a young group at the end um, but it will give them confidence you know, like I say they keep using the word experience but it's absolutely priceless they play academy football and it's totally different to what they go into in terms of men's football so the more games like this we can get the better for everyone